All right, we got our production version of our Headway bus bars. If you remember, we tested these. These were the samples that we got, and we figured that we should probably get rid of all these little extra just features that are not needed, and they don't help the, the bus bar in any way, but actually might harm it in some way, right? Including these holes right here, the, the uh, in the middle, because this is where all the power goes through and it so it creates a hot uh, region here, a heat spot right here, right? So as you can see, we took all those off. There's no more holes here other than the tiny, tiny little bias that we put in there. And that's supposed to help connect the top layer to the bottom layer uh, and supposedly help the with the heat dissipation there and stuff because now it creates more of the solder stuff that is in there. But I guess we'll test that. We'll put it on the battery here and then test it again and load it with 500 amps. Uh, we did remove these holes, so there's no more of those holes in there. And now we put them over here. Now here they don't uh, harm the, you know, the, the, the electrically, this bus bar. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, got rid of all these other stuff that this should be. I'm gonna replace it here with these same cells and then we'll run that same test and see how it goes. Right, here we go. There's been a few minutes now at 356 amps. And that is the heat signature that we get out of those bus bars. other side let's look at the, on the other side and similar heat signature there at 45 degree about 45 degrees Celsius 46 because there's some heat buildup right there where the terminals are at too I guess but not nearly as much as the other. 466. Holding at 11.3 uh, volts. Right, and the voltage is getting low enough for the uh, alarm to start going off. There we go, we just lower the load a tiny bit to bring the amperage back up. But this battery is running out of energy. So. Looks like at about 11, they're starting to. There we go. See, so. Let's just disconnect this load completely. And 
12 amps. And I think that's it. The battery is... Amp still pulling the single. There we go. Yes, yeah, so the uh, the heat on the bus bars there never goes above 50 degrees. All right, when you stay around. When you stay below 500 amps, it doesn't go above 50 degrees Celsius. All right, so that's how these uh, production version of these uh, bus bar plates based on the PCB one ounce copper uh, behave on uh, when you load up to a 500 amp load, right, continuous. So I added some vias in here in the center portion to try to decrease the hot spots that was happening there, but it didn't didn't really do much. I don't think it benefited from that. So, it, but it didn't make it worse either. So we're just gonna leave them there. Um, the next step for this project is to add the secondary board up here, where then we can add a BMS because this battery right now is just bus bars. Uh, the cells are connected in series, but there's nothing preventing you from running a, a pack that is unbalanced and, you know, uh, could, you could kill cells or it could be dangerous or whatever. So, so now we're going to design uh, a board that is, I don't know if it's going to be the same size or smaller. I guess it can be smaller depending on the uh, uh, BMSs that we're going to get. I have two that I'm trying right now and I'm designing the uh, the PCB here and they're a hundred amps right and we can put up to two and we can put them in parallel so that you can have a 200 amp uh, battery pack here now if you guys need more than 200 amps on a BMS put it in the comments and then if you have one that you want me to try and make a, a plate that just screws on top of this one and then it has the um, you know, then it's got posts in there that you can just connect, but then the battery will be completely uh, done, right, through BMS. Then post uh, a link on the in the description, and then I'll look at those BMSs, and then we'll see if we can design boards, right? Because that's we can make a bunch of different versions depending on what uh, people out there that are going to want to use this battery uh, have a preference. So there you go. These are available at jack35.com. Uh, I think they're... For like I think they're like $50 or something $49 maybe for these ones or 29 I don't remember the the, the price but uh, if you want to get them at the cheapest price this is also an open source project and you can go and download the CAD the Gerber file so that you can also just print these on your favorite uh, PCB shop in China and that way you pay the least amount right probably half the price of what I'm charging uh, for the ones that are already made right but then you'd have to order I think minimum of five that's usually how most of the PCB houses work where you have to the minimums like five so if you just need a pair of these right a set then you can go to jack35.com and find that product there we also have links to uh, the a couple sources where you can get the headway cells because we don't stock these these are really hard to come by because they're very popular and they usually sell out and most of these secondhand uh websites and our partners that that sometimes get them right so there you go thank you for watching this video uh we'll see you guys on the next one bye all right is that the warehouse is that the warehouse All right, picked up both batteries from Jackiper, a 48 volt and a 24 volt. Now let's go take them and test them. This right here is a 2.5 kilowatt hour battery, 24 volt battery by 
Jackaber.